By the end of this video, you'll see the results of my 30-day trial that I've done to improve the bacteria, the flora in my nose by using probiotics so I can prevent sinus infections and reduce post-nasal drip and stuffiness. How's it going guys? This is Chris and welcome back to another episode of TGIF, Talking Gut Immuno Fridays, where we talk about gut health and improving the immune system through lifestyle choices. For the last 30 days, I've been doing a trial of using a specific species of lactobacillus, lactobacillus sacai, that I've explained the rationale for this in my previous video that I'll put in the description below. I've been using this bacteria in the hopes that I can balance out some of the flora in my nose and sinuses so I'm not so prone to chronic sinus infections. So far, the results have been incredibly encouraging. I've only been doing this for slightly over 30 days and I've tracked my data every single day. And I'll show those results to you in a chart in a little bit here, but first I wanted to walk you through the process. Please note that this is something I did at my own risk and there are certainly always risks with self-experiments such as this. The process itself is simple. I found out about this culture called B2, which is an isolated strain of Lactobacillus sacai from the previous video, and you can see for more information why I chose this strain. I actually bought this and it was shipped from New Zealand with ice, and then I've been using this for the last 30 days. The process would go like this. Because Lactobacillus sacai is vulnerable to heat and oxygen, I kept it in an airtight container. Um, I sealed it off using a, a vacuum sealer. And what I would do is I would take this powder, I would take this powder, this probiotic, that is by the way used also in meat preservation to kill off things like listeria, and I would dissolve that in the water. So I place the culture into the water. I let it dissolve for about four minutes. I put enough in there so it, it's a relatively cloudy consistency and I let this sit for about four minutes so the bacteria can dissolve into the water. After the bacteria is dissolved in the water for about four minutes, then I drink part of, first I swish around. So I coat my throat in this bacteria. I took a little swig of that. And then I'm going to repeatedly coat the inside of my nose, both nostrils, several times, and then I just breathe normally. This was some filtered water, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you the results from this trial. So what we have here are the results from my study, which started on 1-27-2017 and ended 2-27-2017. I rated my symptoms on a scale from zero to 10, and then the date is on the x-axis here. So I, I had a sore throat in the morning, uh, PND is post-nasal drip, stuffiness, just a general sensation of stuffiness in the nose, mucus, 10 being like a thick yellow, zero being none at all, and stuffiness would be like completely clear or completely uh, clogged. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, I put need for sinus here, and what I mean by that is... I, I felt this strong desire that I needed to use my pulsating sinus irrigator if it were a 10 uh, because I always felt like I was at the borderline of getting sick. Now, when I started, this was a perfect time for me to start this because I was just getting over a sinus infection. And I wanted, and I know how my body recovers for these thing, from these things because I've been, I've been dealing with them for so long. So I know the progression of how quickly I get over these in my own body. Now, as I started this experiment, the, the effects within two days were profound. I mean, even within one day, I was noticing a difference. You could see that that feeling like I needed the sinus pulse, uh, particularly the mucus dropped off very quickly within two days there. I was, I was, uh, the mu mucus was still there, but it was clear. And even the post-nasal drip started to make its way down as well. Uh, stuffiness kind of went all over the place a little bit, but overall had a downward trend. By about the end of the first week in February, I had a little bit of a spike because the weather patterns were changing here in Michigan a little bit. Again, it was warming up abnormally in February. So I had a brief little spike in, in, in the sore throat in the morning. What I found most profound is 
is how much I feel like I need the sign you pulse. It's, I feel like it just needs to be there a couple days a week now versus I desperately need to do it every day in order to keep myself from getting sick. So that's huge. So I would call this a monumental success for me. I'm going to continue to track this data. I'd love to hear any questions you might have or if you've done anything similar. If you watch my other video, Nasal Probiotics for Acute and chronic sinusitis, which I'll put in the description below. You'll see where I got this idea from the website I got the idea from and why I chose this particular strain. Uh, obviously, a major disadvantage to this is the cost. The cost of this, I brought three of the packets, which would get me about three months of this for $100. Um, and that was with the shipping and handling and everything from New Zealand. And it is very vulnerable to heat and it is vulnerable to air as well. You have to be have a way to be able to seal the product, which again is another disadvantage. Um, otherwise, it won't be potent nearly as long as it's exposed to more and more oxygen. Or you can also find this bacteria in certain kimchi as well. And the only way you're going to know is if it's fresh and you do some trial and error. Once that process is complete, I'd put the sealed container back in the freezer so it would last longer. Please note there are some obvious limitations to this study. This was the only major lifestyle thing I changed in the last month, and I think in my case, the results were profound as you could see from the chart. However, there are certainly other variables that could have come into play. Particularly the weather was changing a lot here in Michigan with a lot of heating up and cooling down, but usually that would make my sinuses even more vulnerable. So I feel a lot stronger, feel a lot better lately in the last month. I'm gonna to continue to monitor this over the next several months. So always check back on the channel and I'll give you updated results over the next few months. This has been another episode of TGIF. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another episode. Thanks a lot for tuning in guys. And I look forward to seeing you next Friday.